this is turning out to be much more interesting. I, you know, some of the jars you look at and you think, what am I going to say about 12 watches and six bangles and seven Mardi Gras beads? But this is, this is really interesting. Now look, this looks like coral to me, like sponge coral. Like what else could it be? This looks really like, like coral. It's orange and white. I don't know if it's been dyed. That's kind of whitish in the center. There's more of a branch. This looks less like, this doesn't look like glass at all. This looks like real coral. So, uh, really cool. Now, the problem with using this stuff in jewelry is it's kind of rough. And, you know, it's not, like, I wouldn't want a bracelet unless I needed to get exfoliated on my wrist or something. But we know, <laughs> we want to exfoliate our faces, but you're not going to rub coral on your face. Um, so I'm not sure the best use of it, what the best use is for this. If it can be combined, like, a, somewhere, a, a different way, so that there's sort of cushioning pieces with it, or if it could be... Like some, there's a sharp corner there. Maybe that could be filed or something. Any any thoughts about what to do about prickly and rough jewelry? Besides, just don't wear it and just don't buy it. Because it'd be nice. I mean, I guess you could use these a sun catcher. That's what they're called. Those things that you put outside and they catch the sunlight and they shimmer and shine. Ah, this um, could go in a sun catcher. And since it's a natural item, I don't know if it's got shellac on it, it would weather quite nicely. And I think, I think I'm, I'm babbling away. Now here's this one piece that I saw that sort of caught my eye first, that I thought was vintage. Because you don't see them making these clasps these days. Now this... Nah, it's not cold. It's very heavy. It's closes up quite nicely. So it's this butterscotch amber color down to these very heavy center pieces. I don't think it's glass. No, it's not, it's it doesn't feel like glass. It feels like heavy. Well, uh, feels like heavy plastic, like heavy marbleized plastic. But it's not gorgeous, like. That's just so wearable. Um, it would be lovely with a sage green or on black or even in the summer, like a nice bright uh, white blouse and other coordinating colors. So very nice. I definitely, I think, a vintage piece. I'm, I'm running across a bunch of these little... Oh, I see, there's a broken necklace. Okay, so it's kind of next in line. I was going to say, I was finding these little... Um, white pieces and some pieces that look like carved something or other or plastic and I have found there's the string that was on and there was a barrel clasp um, these, uh, who knows what they are they're kind of all similarly carved three holes and some notches and then there's some beads, but I'm going to stick them in here because it's broken. And I see more beads in the, the, the jar. Oh. And, uh, okay, so here's... There's a nut. Yeah, it's not a rock. It's a nut of some sort. Anybody know what kind of nut that is? some metal beads, some plastic beads. Um, these might be what they call it, coconut shell that's been dyed. And then this end again, oh it's got a spring ring clasp, a nice clasp on the with the uh, sort of silky type cord, but not my idea of a, of a, of a sort of a boho again type necklace, but I don't know what I would do with this. I don't Nothing comes in mind if, if in terms of repurposing. Um, these might make good stools, stool tops for a, a, a dollhouse, but that's a lot of work. 
I think my dollhouse making days are over for a little while, our dollhouse furniture days. Um, some more of those little caps that are broken. Here's another watch. This is uh, Citizen. Oh, it's a good brand. And it's pretty good shape. The band's not all corroded or anything, so this could be cleaned. New battery put in it to see if it works. Uh, I like numbers on my watches, but that's a very pretty design for a watch. So not too many watches. Don't mind. See another coral piece or beads. Oh, here's a watch with a uh, a broken um, safety chain. So let's open it up. It's very fine. Again, it is, oh, this is a Seiko. I have a Seiko watch. This one's quite lovely. Very delicate. Look how nice that is. Very pretty. Silver tone. In excellent shape. My Seiko watch is uh, base metal top, stainless steel back, serial number. Mine I got, mine is what, 42 years old and the back is all worn down to the the base, that's very nice. Could easily fix the uh, safety chain or put a new chain on it. It's got the hole there where it screws in on the other side. So it'll be nice to see if that works. Looks like it goes a good brand of some more beads. Now, these two things were tangled together, so just, um, oh, I see why, because the one hook is all damaged. Okay, so, okay, this, ugh, I don't know what that's supposed to be there, if it's supposed to have had a like a loop oh maybe it's supposed to have been a hook on a loop oh, I don't know anyway this is this is in bad shape these are nice glass and ceramic beads on a heavy cotton cord it's missing whatever was hanging on the bottom but that's heavy metal and uh, I think it's a piece of glass in there some little so interesting sort of again those tribal boho kind of things those are some nice beads to repurpose, some nice glass beads, especially the red one. The red ones are really kind of gorgeous. Okay. And this one is the one that I thought was coral. It's very heavy. It's, again, I suppose if it if it's too heavy, it could be glass masquerading as coral. Um, I think it's dyed. There's some white sections there. Though what glass wouldn't have to be dyed. I don't know. There's some, you can sort of look at the ends and like there's nothing. I don't know if coral's solid through like that or if it's just glass that's been made that way. Guess I'm doing some research about coral. Anyway, even if it's not real, it's interesting. And it could be, it's not sharp and, and prickly, so it could be repurposed. Now that looks like coral. I don't know if we can zoom in on that. Well, see how that looks? It looks like a branch of coral. So maybe there's, maybe it's just the red coating that's covered it up on the other ends. Maybe if I go underneath that coating, we'll see something interesting. Okay, coral research in my future. We're almost at the end of the jar. And there's some more. Ah, this is another boho type piece, plastic beads, even the metal feel like plastic. Um, spring ring clasp, multiple strands of these lovely little sort of salmon-y colored beads, some wood beads. These feel like uh, plastic, these gold tone ones. 
these little things feel like plastic. Eh, good for the kids to play with. Um, clean it up and maybe. I wouldn't really put these in jewelry. There's, I don't like plastic in jewelry. At least not in jewelry I make. Now this is in the the nature field of things. This is a uh, oh, it's got a little some that broken thing as some. So these are oh cool. So these are seeds and pods of various types made into a flower. Someone had to go to a lot of work to do this. And then here's the string goes through it. And these are all some kind of a, I don't know, they're shiny. I think they're a seed. These are like app, big apple seeds. I don't know what they call those. Or a, not really a piece of shell. And then it's got the uh, adjustable macrame closure at the top and a, some more little beads at the back. So, you know, a tourist piece. I wonder where, where it's from, where somebody traveled to to make that. I would uh, hang that, put that into a, a wind chime too. It might not last very long, but sometimes wind chimes don't last very long anyway. So this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes and a, just a little add-on to my video. I also uh, purchased this bag from the Goodwill for $2.99 went to my local Goodwill and, and here in Ontario they've had uh, jewelry they don't they don't send it off to Goodwill in the States um, and it used to be well started off a couple years ago $2.99 a piece then it went up to $3.99 a piece so you know each bracelet each necklace each watch each brooch and then they started sort of spreading you know watches were more expensive and so now post uh, the most recent lockdown Every piece of jewelry starts at $4.99. And, you know, some of this stuff is, I mean, I can still go to Salvation Army and get it for $2.99 or $3 for 6 So I didn't buy any individual pieces there, though I found a, a Sarah Coventry owl, except it was on the wrong chain. So it wasn't, even for $4.99, it wasn't worth it. But this was $3.99, and again, it is a bag I saw a bag of jewelry making pieces so let's look at what we've got here well this isn't jewelry making but I know someone who'll have fun with little uh, hair brats black and white hair brats so uh, those are kind of cute this is uh, all right so these are all these were all clearance from Michaels this is, uh, I think, like a purse. I think this opens up. Yeah, okay. So like a, a purse charm or something. You can put your keys on here, and this can go on your purse, and this is just a big ring. Uh, it's called a glimmer accessory. I wouldn't have paid $3.97 for it. Oh, it's a bracelet. Excuse me. It's huge. So, uh, ah, uh, we'll play. Sun catcher? Wind chime? Who knows? Uh, somebody who wants it for a bag? This I saw in the bag. It's a bug charm instructions from Klutz. And you can make tell charms. It's got all kinds of little beads in it. And wire. An instruction booklet. Like, and some other beads and stuff. So perfect for, you know, going camping little... Uh, or a little, you know, summertime gift for those in my family who like to make jewelry. And it comes in the cutest little carrying box. $2.99, that was worth it just for that piece. Now, here is a shell bracelet that is broken. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, well, you know what? This could be used for something. The pe you could each one of these could become an e part of an earring. You could join the pieces. It's nickel free. Not bad. What else have we got? Oh, a couple bracelets from Charm Along. They're 
<laughs> they're nickel free. They're, I don't think, I think they're just like plastic. They're not leather. But they're very thin bracelets. They're kind of cute. And here is, oh, okay. So here's a charm that goes on one of those bracelets. So there's a wing. There's one. Oh, here's some more slider charms for one of those bracelets. Those are all in silver tone and okay. What have we got here? Here's um oh this is all one piece. Oh no, it's two, three, one, two, three pieces. So this goes on a bracelet as well. Uh two little chevrons and the word fearless. It's quite nice. And that's in gold tone. So I suppose that could go on the gold colored bracelet even though it's and some more silver pieces three more slide along charms I don't know if that's the real abalone or just or shell and what's this oh a couple of uh, connectors dream on dreamer and follow your bliss oh so very nice well there's a there's a summer bracelet and bug charm kit for grandkids and some pieces to repurpose in jewelry. So well worth it for $2.99. So thanks for that little add-on and again have a great day.